Welcome back to uh, Panasonic Live at IFA 2012. Or should I say, salut, soyez bienvenue. Why? Because my two guests are both French, but don't worry, we will have this entire interview into English, as the segment is going to be dedicated to Vieira. And on one hand, when it comes to uh, Vieira, it's not that bad to having the director for the TV group of Panasonic, uh, Fabien Roth, with us, but also from Eurosport, Eurosport, Vieira, what is that supposed to mean? Well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about it when we're going to have the uh, man responsible for strategy and development at Eurosport, Alexandre Dujardin. Alexandre, Fabien, please uh, come in to my little universe. Uh, nice Welcome, Fabien. Hi. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello, Alexandre. Have a seat. As I said, we could have held this entire interview in French, but it's not going to be really helpful for my mom. She's not really so good into okay, when fine. it comes to the French language. Mm -hmm. All right? Uh, I, but first of all, what is it all about? I understand that you must be here because you're the director of the TV group at Panasonic, so this is your, this is your world. But what has it to do with Eurosport exactly? I mean, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have you here, but why are you here? Oh, hello. You, know, no, I can you, don't, you, don't, you don't want to talk so about it? Is it still a secret? No. no. Basically, I can answer basically that. I mean, the reason, because we invited Eurosport, because yeah. um, Eurosport has been, um, it's a historical partner for us. Right. Uh, we've been working together, you know, for the last uh, three years. We've been launching HD with Eurosport. Um, we then launched 3D uh, channel. And we also launched connected apps, yeah. So the first connected uh, application with a broadcaster was launched actually by Panasonic and Eurosport. Ah, uh, that's exactly. why you're here. I thought maybe because there's also the E stuff happening at the uh, Olympic Stadium, which is like nearby uh, the, the fair. But you came here for a reason. You have an app. Yeah, we've got two apps. I can show you. Yeah, please. I would love to. So, so when you enter the um, Viera Connect interface, you've got two Eurosport applications. Yes. The first one is a free video clip application, and the second one is Eurosport Player. Yep. So let's start with the first one, the free one. On the Eurosport free video clip application, Oops. you have access to free video clips with sports news from yep. football, tennis, motorsport, all of sports. And you can navigate in this application and I'm choose Max Villander. Yeah, a great show, by the because way. Because currently we've got uh, US Open, so there are plenty of interviews, uh, uh, news from um, from US Open, and also you've got from football, for example, with Ibrahimovic uh, with the PSG. Go so. Sweden. <laughs> and so, and people, the Panasonic users can have access for free to all these videos, and we have thousands, uh, hundreds of uh, video clips uh, every day. Yep. And this application is available in eight languages: in English, in German, in French, etc. As it's Eurosport. That's Eurosport, and languages. you are. You're yeah. in touch with the video news, with the sport news uh, every day. And also that, you know, that's the benefit, if I can add, of connected TV is that when you have an app, um, you can just you know, broadcast it over as many countries as you want, mm -hmm. right? Because there's no, you know, it's via network. So it was quite key to have uh, different languages yeah, to uh, have a bigger reach. And this one is for free? That's for free. And now you have one which is going to cost me, but what yeah. is that I'm going to get for my money? So let's enter Eurosport player application. So that's uh, very new. We launched it in May, and that's the first time we've got access to your sport player on TV. That's with Panasonic. I enter the application, and then I have direct access to Eurosport channel. You know that Eurosport is a paid channel all over Europe, except in Germany. And <laughs> what do you mean? Because we are so because we are broke? No, you are no. So <laughs> that's tradition in, uh, in Germany. So and with this application, you have access to Eurosport channels. Right. Eurosport, Eurosport 2, and possibly additional uh, live channel. And, um, so this is live, basically? That's a live, live channel. Currently, yeah. you've got US, US Open, Open, and so you can uh, enjoy the match. So, so it's the first time, I mean, it's worth to mention that we are showing live, a live broadcast on the connected TV. Yeah? That was the first app, exactly. and, and it was done by, um, by both And so us. this application enables you to watch Eurosport channel, Eurosport 2, mm -hmm. and the Barker channel to present uh, what's, what's new uh, in August, in September, uh, on Eurosport channels. And then, and you have only to select, if I want to watch Eurosport, Eurosport 2, then I click, and I have direct access to the Vuelta, that currently happen in, uh, in Spain. But doesn't that make the TV itself kind of uh, like with an included set-top box? I mean, this is usually uh, what you yeah. would get like from a set-top box. This is usually the service provided by set-top box or by, by satellite boxes. So now with the network, with access to bandwidth, if you have bandwidth, um, 
you know, you can sim simply live watch live channels, mm -hmm. live broadcasts. So this is probably going to uh, change everything mm -hmm. in the long run, yeah. Because uh, you don't need any box, just a TV and a connection. Just a TV and you have access. And you can subscribe when you want to and turn when you want to. For example, I love tennis. So I run now on Eurosport Player to watch US Open. Okay. And, and how can I subscribe that, that uh, So that's app. quite easy. When you are not, uh, we can't do that now because I'm already a subscriber. Right. But when you open for the first time the application, mm -hmm. you can click on subscribe. You will be received an email. And then we will subscribe on a PC and pay via PC. Okay. And uh, for the partnership between Panasonic and Eurosport, we granted Panasonic uh, an outstanding offer because uh, Panasonic offers the customer 30 days free access to Eurosport player. Okay, yeah. so that, that's a special deal? That was, yeah, just a promotional deal. You know, when you buy a Panasonic Smart Vera TV, you get one month please uh, free please sit down. Of, uh, of Eurosport player access. Yeah, so that was a commercial, uh, a promotional offer, yeah. So do you think this is going to be like the future of uh, the way that like TV channels will present themselves? Do you see, wh where do you see like the benefits it's a, of... It's a part of the future. Do you know that people now want to watch the TV channel when they want to do it mm. and where, when, and what they want to watch. For example, your store player is available on PC, on tablet, on mobile, and now on TV. So the, the objective in the future is to watch what you want, when you want, and where you want. Yeah, so you, you have to think, I mean, the, there's going, you know, traditional distribution is going to remain, yeah? Right. Which is, yeah, okay, you get your channels via your, your antenna or your cable box or satellite or so on. But here, what we, we're showing is, first of all, is a bigger reach because if I have that TV in 200 countries in the world, right. well, theoretically, 200 countries could be connected to the internet, so you could receive that channel in 200 countries, which normally costs a lot of money if you're a broadcaster. Yeah, but yeah? Exactly, that's, yeah. that, that's my point. This is going to also be kind of complicated just to, to deal with, the, uh, uh, with all the regulation that comes with every, uh, with every uh, domestic market. I understand for Panasonic as a global brand, you're just going to put your TV sets all over the place. But as a TV channel from, from Europe, I think it's not going to be... Is it, is it easy or rather complicated just to offer the same program to, let's say, an American or an Asian uh, uh, audience? So, this product is already in Europe, right. except in France. That's an exception. And that we are used to, uh, to deal with several regulations because Eurosport uh, is available in uh, 59 countries in Europe right. uh, with uh, more than 130 million um, households. Right. So we are used to European uh, issues. Okay. Yeah. So it's all, uh, and again, it's about the French and Germans always having a special deal here <laughs> for some reason. We, we, are, we don't know. May I get my tablet then? Because, of course, we have a few questions for you guys that I would love you just to reply then. For example, uh, you as the chef of uh, Panasonic uh, 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 for the TV brand, when is the, that I'm going to get my VT50? No, just kidding. Um, got you got one last year. Last <laughs> year? You already. No, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still happy with my VT20, but we're going to okay. talk about it later. I'm not allowed to participate okay. in our competition uh, where you can win it today. Yeah. But Sorry. hey. Sorry. Just go on. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm modest. It's all right. Janine would like to know, can I record Eurosport broadcast to my hard drive? Is this going to be possible with the help of the application just to download it on a SD card, USB stick, so, anything? Uh, hard drive? Not at the moment. We, we can't do that. But uh, in the, by the end of the year, we will launch uh, catch-up functionalities on, on the application. Right. For the, the size, uh, to say that uh, you can watch... Um, a play, a match, something, seven days after the first broadcast. Okay. If you miss something, you can watch it uh, on the replay section. Okay. So mm. for now, you won't be able just to store it on a hard drive, uh, but in the future, in, in the, the future, future, it will be possible. You will have the chance to just yeah. to develop the functionality. I mean, ge generally, um, as a manufacturer anyway, we, we also have to guarantee, you know, um, security and encryption of content. Right. So generally, the content that you have on, uh, you know, connected TV is not recordable, yeah? You cannot record it, okay? Right. Um, but one of the big benefits that Connected TV offers, apart from the reach, is interactivity and on-demand. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what uh, Eurosport is going to, to start with us in a few months, is to have these on-demand programs. So if you have the on-demand programs, you probably don't need to record them anymore because they're there when you want. Exactly. Well, but there comes the natural fear of a human being that it might be not there when you really are looking for it. It's pretty much the same with our network here. Sometimes it's, it's yeah. most of the time it's there, but not all the time it's gone. That's no, an issue of practicing. I yeah, think, that, that's, yeah, that's the only. I mean, you're getting better at it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we're working on it at least. <laughs> so uh, thank you for that reply. Uh, thank you for that question, Janine. Coming to the next one. 
as I was just about to say, now it's like there's this critical second where you have to wait for the question which pops up. Now, Monica, can I watch 3D on Eurosport? Do you offer 3D program? Yes, we launched with Panasonic uh, 3D program. Uh, is that Roland Garros in 3D was right. launched in May, June uh, uh, 2011 and 12. And, uh, and for the first time, we broadcast the Olympic Games in 3D. The, for the Olympic Games, that makes totally sense. But for tennis, tennis in 3D is like... Tennis is wonderful in 3D because you, you've got the depth. Yep. The, very important, the depth is very important in 3D. And you can see the move and people running in the court. So you have the 3D effect. F F you yeah, have to be... You have to be very close to the player to have the 3D right. effect. Yeah. And tennis is better than football in 3D because you are very close to the, to the player and you can watch the ball uh, coming uh, to you and you can see uh, the, the player running in 3D in the screen. That's a, it's a, it's that's a different very way of thinking now that 3D I advise you to watch next long hours in 3D. Okay, that's, that, that's what I will. So, so, thank you. so currently there is no, um, there's no sporting event in 3D broadcasted, mm -hmm. but in the future we will... Uh, We'll continue to broadcast... Uh, Once people get used to it. Yeah. So thank you, uh, Monica, for your question. Coming to the next one. By uh, Tony2012. Is the Eurosport player the same as on broadcast TV? So that you can watch a Eurosport player right. the same channel that you can watch uh, on your setup box. Okay. So that's the same one. Simple. So but you've got additional content on ah. your Eurosport player. You've got additional live stream, for right. example. For the US Open, you have access up to um, six additional courts. Okay. For example, on your Sport 1 and Sport 2, you've got two different plays. Mm -hmm. But you want to watch another match that's not broadcast in the channels. You can click on the desired court of that channel and you will see the match that you want to watch. That's the way that actually you want to see sports. Exactly. Not being forced just to watch it just because the channel didn't have the rights to it, but just yeah, have it's flexible, your, to make yeah, your own it's decision. So thank you for that question, Tony. That has been your answer. Now coming, or oh, that was your, uh, your answer. I guess we'd like to know, do you show all the big league events like the Olympics, world football, championships, etc.? Is that going to be part of the year sports? Are you interested in sports? Yeah. Uh, Eurosport offers a wonderful portfolio of sports rights. Right. right. We broadcasted Olympic Games. Right. We uh, sort of a wonderful event, uh, very successful for in terms of audience and the satisfaction of the users. But we program also a super tennis offer with uh, three Grand Slam: U.S. Open, uh, Australian Open, and Roland Garros. And you broadcast also WTA tournament, mm -hmm. the, the female uh, tennis tournament. That's the tennis offer. We've got a wonderful winter sport offer with almost all the races of alpine skiing, Nordic skiing, ex uh, freestyle, mm -hmm. uh, surf, etc. So, super offer. We have a great offer on um, motor race with rally, uh, touring car races. Uh, um, we have a good offer in snooker as well with the World Tour of, of snooker. Mm -hmm. And we've got uh, your sport broadcast more than 120 different sports. Your sport is the house of sport. Mm -hmm. So if you want, you, want, you have a lot of live hours of sport. Uh, so if you want to watch sport, watch your sport. You don't have, I think, um, like feminine beach volley or something like that? Because I think, you know, Pat Patrice is really a fan yeah. of it, yeah? Well, right yeah. now I'm more a fan of the yeah. male. Uh, beach volley okay. because Germany just won gold okay. during the Olympic Games. <laughs> <laughs> so now we pretend that we've we always been fans of that. Uh, the football with um, the U U21 uh, World Cup, we've got the basketball, handball, uh, a lot of in alternative sports as well. Oh. So, so, you're not only, so you're not only covering the big events, you're also covering like, yeah. the smaller no. sports. Things. We have some big events, right. so tennis, etc. And, uh, and we have a lot of diversity of sports. Right. Including snooker, but then again, snooker is quite popular. I, w I wasn't even aware of how big this this fan That's base is. That's very popular. Snooker. But how come? I mean, what's, it's like two guys, no. not even talking with each That's other. That's a game, and snooker it has a huge amount of fans. But yes, uh, would be the the answer to that question. Thank you for sending it. Coming to the next one. Da -da 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 -da. The critical second. James Jenkins would like to know, I already have an account for Eurosport on my PC. Can I access the Eurosport player on Viera Connect with the very same account? So, I'm sorry to say, currently, it's not possible. You have to subscribe a new account on your Panasonic device. Yeah. But by the end of the year, we will launch a multi-screen subscription. So, with one subscription, we access to PC, television, smartphone, tablets. So... Okay. 
subscribe to two accounts, and then uh, by the end of the world, uh, by the end of the year, you can have one account with multiple devices. Do you already can say like when this is going to happen, in, in order that somebody wants to wait until this is going to be offered? No, don't wait to watch uh, what's the US Open now, and then. Uh, just wait and then we will uh, And as soon as it's available, you will be uh, exactly. informed about that. All right, and James, thank you for your question. Coming to the next one. Dun, 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 dun. But it's good to know that there's a permanent uh, development to yeah. all the technologies. A public is state of the art, so we are, uh, we are innovating in step some time because uh, that they are the first. Well, and also there's a, there's a, a lot to do. I mean, yeah. it was the first time during this Olympic Games that Panasonic actually has been uh, covering uh, at least 200 hours of 3D uh, program, so yeah, absolutely. This yeah, might be then even more the next time. Yeah, for us it was, um, you know, we, we, we broadcasted actually, or Eurosport broadcasted for us a right. 3D channel um, during the whole Olympic period, and uh, we've covered 6,000 shops across whole Europe, and uh, you know, to deliver this wonderful sport and 3D experience, and um, you know, that's that, that's one, you know, of the, the good partnerships we have with, with Eurosport is that when it comes to content mm. and to delivering content, uh, you know, we're able to, to reach the, the right people with, uh, with the, the right quality. Right. And um, so we're trying to reproduce that also on the connected TV side. Yeah. And, um, you know, to always trying to be, to be a bit ahead of the market, mm. ahead of what's happening. And um, we, we got a very good um, take up so far. I mean, it's beneficial. Uh, I'm probably blessed. Yes, you do. Um, Oliver de Mahamahama. We'd like to know how long have you been available on Viera Connect? But from uh, May, from May to for, for the player part. For the yeah. player. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, but three years before. Three years before. Yeah. Yeah. Three years before. So the first app was launched. Yeah. First app, uh, three years ago. The latest now since May. Thank you, Oliver, for your question. That, that, that was fast. <laughs> That's the way it should be. Henning would like to know: Do you only show European sporting events? I mean, US Open. You just mentioned no, it. So no. No. We show sport. It's just called Eurosport because it's because that's European a, that's based. That's, that's in Europe. That's a European channel. But yeah. you have all sports. Uh, you, that you can have, we have World, World Cup, World Championship. Uh, that's that sport. Well, let's take like football World Cups. Uh, even the World Cup is kind of a European, uh, European championship anyway. Like the, the last four, always European uh, lately. Yeah. For some reason. I don't know what it is. But apparently it's quite popular here. So heading, uh, yes, they do uh, also oh. show international i mean european is international but beyond the international borders definitely yes thank you for that question henning coming to the next one uh zolt would like to know when subscribing to the app is it free from uh, is it free from advertising like the paid yes one you got no advertising you've, okay. you've got the live streaming of the channel so if you have if you have advertising with the channel you've got the same advertisement but no additional advertising Except when it comes to sponsors worn by the athletes, that's something that Eurosport apparently cannot do anything against it. That's part of the of the yes, game. But you, you you pay for that, so you you don't have any additional right. advertising. Okay, so uh, no worries, you can subscribe right away. Exactly. If you're not a fan of AdWords, you won't find them there. Thank you all for your question. Coming to the next one, uh, bye. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. High technology. In between, I can dance, I can sing, uh, just uh, try to cover the, this awkward moment of nothing is happening. And no, yes, yes. Oh, yes, here it is. Um, how can I subscribe uh, to the European, uh, to Eurosport to play on Viera Connect? We already demonstrated that. Yes, I can demonstrate mm -hmm. it, but, yeah. but as you already subscribed yeah. right now. We'll receive an email and then you'll explain it and you subscribe via PC. You but it's a rather PC. easy process just to get all the information. And as we learn in the, f in the future, some more offers will be help. But this is future talk right yeah. now. Just go into the application. Yeah, and, and you can subscribe and you'll yeah. receive an email. That's very, very easy. Okay. You, you do have some step before the one, one step is that when you buy your TV, first you create your Panasonic account. Okay. which allows you, enables you to uh, download apps and install apps. So that is something you do at the beginning. But isn't Eurosport, yeah. I mean, the free app is already part of the package, if I'm not mistaken. I recall that it has always been there, yeah. at least on my VT20, so it must be on the, the current line it should be. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Then yeah. Permanently. But then if you want to upgrade the app or when, when, when they launch a new version or whatever, if you want to install it, you will need to have a Panasonic account, which right. most likely you have anyway when you, when you buy the TV. Yeah. I, I do. You I do, do have a Panasonic Thank you very account. much. Yeah. Yes. We spotted you. But again, uh, I could use that new uh, that, that old account also on a new VT fifth. Okay. Yeah. 
You know, I'm just just trying. Uh, I, you, your room is too small, you know it. <laughs> no, it's not. I could even fit in the 145, or maybe not. But I would try just to even try the. No, because um, I don't know if you have the chance just to visit like the booth in general. There's a 145 inch 8K screen standing here. Amazing. 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 Yeah, we I will have a look at that. Yeah, I mean, that's and very uh, cheap. Just uh, they didn't even want to tell me the price, but I no. presume around like a thousand euros or something like that. Mm -hmm. I might buy it then. Yeah. It's affordable. No, that's false information. <laughs> not that anyone is going to call here. But, but the presenter said it's just going to be a thousand euros. Probably a little yeah, bit more than have that. To enlarge your, we'll have to enlarge your, your door yeah, at your house. Yeah, it doesn't go through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I heard. You, you realize that, you, yeah? You sent in okay. some specialists that yeah. have to check first that if yeah. you can really uh, I so. actually build in your this, this TV set. <laughs> but hey, coming to the next one, um, uh, Vern, I would like to know, do I have to pay a subscription fee or do I pay individually for the events I want to watch? Is no. there a chance also just individually to pay for any events? No, no, you pay for the channel. Yeah. So that's a one month subscription that you uh, renewable and you watch all the all the channel but we we don't have to pay it separately for such so for some events but for some reason this seems to be something that is rather limited to the american market it never really i don't know about asia but in germany we don't have that that you could you will be able just to pay just for a specific event when it comes to boxing games or anything yeah. like that the, the, it exists, but it's, it's a other business model. That's a pay-per-view business model, but right. our business model is a channel, right. channel subscription. So you pay for the for the world channel. As as of today, you know this SVOD model seems to be more successful right. than the, the pure on-demand. Yeah. So um, you know we've seen with other other apps, other you know for instance with, with VOD or you know with some some partners in uh, in the states like Netflix right. or. Right, they are successful with, uh, with, with models where that are more SVOD based. I think um, it probably is an issue of time and uh, you know of getting used to it, and then once uh, people will be used, they might pay. HBO makes that in the USA. This box is very uh, it's very related to pay per view. Right. But in Europe, that's, uh, we sell cha we watch channels with the editorial choice uh, within the channel. So, total different cultural <laughs> behavior that we have yeah. when it comes to television. Uh, so, Werner, now, you don't have to be afraid that you will be extra charged for anything. Once you subscribe, you will get and access to it's cheaper to, to uh, subscribe for the World Channel because you can watch the World Tournament plus uh, Vuelta for the same price. It's cheaper to subscribe to a channel, not... Uh, there, you, there you go. And it's not even a special offer. It's just yeah. fact that it's cheaper in general. So thank you, Werner, for your question and uh, enjoy then the program. Coming to the next one, uh, a question by... Can I watch more than one sporting event, for example, two football matches at the same time? That's very difficult to watch two football matches at the same time. Just try, uh, you have some problems to understand what, what happens. So, uh, but basically it's not possible at the moment right. because uh, the bandwidth is too limited to make it possible. Okay. So and that's not... That's not convenient with sport. Have you ever seen too much uh, at the same time? Uh, only like in a betting uh, place, but that's, that, that's also another story. I mean, I just heard that of a friend of mine. I'm never bad. It's like, it's, I leave that to friends. It's a bad thing to bet. But uh, no, yeah, I totally agree. Sometimes it just makes sense uh, just to be focused on one specific game. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes, as you know, just because of the regulations, so. a few, a few, some games have to take, part, uh, take place at the same time, so okay. then you have to decide. So that's why I always go for my favorite team and uh, anything else I don't really care that much for. But uh, no, unfortunately not, it's not possible. not possible. Thank you anyway for that question. Coming to the next one. Dun, 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 dun. But again, I really have to say, like, I really enjoyed all... I'm not so much a tennis person, but I really enjoyed all the tennis program that you're offering so far. I really like also, like, you know... Mm. Uh, the, the, the little circle of people that are talking about that. So, a uh, good program. So, Anif, I guess, would like to know, can I customize the Eurosport player so it shows me my favorite sports only? Is there an option to say, like, you know what, all I care for is question. football? No, you are, that's a channel. And normally, if the programmation team does well the job, right. so you've got the favorite sport broadcast on Eurosport. Okay. So, so the, our team makes their best effort to broadcast your favorite spot. All right. So but can, but you but can customize the channel. It's not possible. This is not possible. No. But you can, we will be able to watch the, the video you want in the on-demand section. Okay. So, so unfortunately, uh, it's not possible just to customize it, but there are other options as well. So uh, thank you for that question as well. Thank you. Uh, 
No, we have a poll. Like, uh, what we would like to talk about trends, we always send out things as, for example, we would like to know a tough choice, but on TV, I most enjoy watching what exactly? Is it that you rather enjoy watching Olympic Games? Is it Formula One or is it football? I would presume football would be number one. What's your pick? What's going to be more popular, Olympic Games, Formula One, football? Yeah, for sure. For sure, football. football? 80, 85%. Oh, yeah, football. Football? But you said like 85%. It depends yeah. what type of football. Oh, you mean if it's uh, like a World Cup or if it's like a exactly. final or anything like that? Well, I don't know about that. The poll closes in exactly one second. And not something around 80, but at least 70% enjoy yeah. most of their football. 14% okay. are going for uh, Formula One and Olympic Games, 60%. I mean, then again, you have to say, like, the IOC did, did quite a good job this time because it, even though that you didn't want it to be into Olympic Games, somehow you had no chance just to follow what's happening there. So, yeah. Um, coming to the next question by Jan Svensson. Jan Svensson would like to know, I probably will move to Australia next year. Will I be able to watch Eurosport in Australia via Viera Connect? No. Actually, not currently, you know that Eurosport is broadcast... Also uh, in Australia, right. in, uh, in, uh, in pay TV operator, but uh, we, didn't ha we didn't launch, at, uh, we haven't launched uh, a real sport player in Australia at the moment. But mm -hmm. in the future, we will launch um, a service uh, in Australia. I know, I know Australians hate to hear that, but somehow they're also Europeans. In the end, they're also part of the Commonwealth, aren't they? For us Germans, they're like... But for the I'm right not going to say anything. I, 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 wanna, yeah. I don't want to start like a global crisis here because of like cultural differences. Uh, so. Yeah, it's, it's, it's worth to mention that um, unfortunately there's no uh, world TV concept so far. Yeah, so even if, he, if, if you know um, Jan has has a TV here that he bought in Europe, um, it will not work in uh, in Australia because you know tuners are different. Don't they have also the, and, uh, Don't they have the same standard as we do? So. No, you, you can have many differences in the tuner, you can have many differences in the settings, yeah? And, and, and moreover, you have to make sure some power outlet is the right one, right? I'm not, I'm not I sure know. Australia I, yeah, is, I'm not even sure is 110 or 220, but you have also the approvals, right? The, the TVs that are sold in Europe are approved for European markets, yeah? Right. CE mark. They might not be for Australia, they're certainly not for, for US, it doesn't work, or for Japan, yeah? Mm -hmm. So uh, there's no worldwide product as far as TV is concerned. Um, it's, 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 of course, something that would be interesting for the consumer. Um, in terms of content, there's also a wish to go worldwide, but there's also some local restrictions like the local exactly. deals they have with the local distributors there, yeah? people distributing Eurosport. So I think we're all like, like a, on a learning phase, a learning curve, where we will try to expand. But uh, generally, you can't bring your TV outside Europe, I would say, yeah? even though we wished, yeah. But what if he's really so much in love with his own TV set? I mean, working with adapters you know, or anything like that? He okay. contact Panasonic Australia and, uh, you know... But Panasonic says, does yeah. also sell TVs in yeah. Australia, so of he might have course. a chance to buy one there. Oh, he has a big chance, especially if he says, you know, he's been sending questions for live at IFA. Yeah. Okay, so Jan, you better leave the TV then <laughs> within Europe or wherever you are right now. And don't worry, you will be able just to get a new one once you're in Australia. But when it comes to Eurosport, you might have to wait until a global concept uh, pops up. Yeah. Unfortunately for that. So, Jan Swenson, thank you anyway for your question. Good question. Uh, coming to the next one. Oh, when it says red, it's not a good thing, right? <laughs> then, I, then I should immediately get another pad. Thank you. Are all events shown live, or can I watch a match or a race a few days later? It's going to be in the future that you will be able exactly, to do Exactly, by the end so. of the year. By the end of the year, then it's going to be possible just to uh, watch them again for seven days yes. at least. But, uh, Not but other all than events, that, but the majority of the events will be available set day before, yeah. uh, set day after. And, but as we, as we saw right now, uh, currently you can watch the US Open live. Live, yeah. So there are plenty of live events, but when it comes to watching them again at the end of the year, yes. you will have the chance just to do so. But thank you for that question. Um, the next one, oh, it's green, it's coming, great. N Nicholas, Nicola, is, is, is it all shown in HD? Is your program also shown in HD? Uh, currently, that's in HD, but in two weeks, uh, you will have access to a HD signer. Okay. Yes, if your internet connection allows you it's to watch enough? HD. Okay, then yeah. in two weeks, it's going to be yeah. possible you to do so. You will have adaptive streaming. If you have a low internet connection at home, you have SD 
So it's going to buffer, it's just going to wait. Yeah. So it's not going to be yeah. live, but it just, it's going to give you the chances to watch it in HD. Yeah, anyway. if you have a, a very fast internet connection, yeah. it's going to be like live. You have HD. So it will adapt to your internet connection. Bandwidth requirement, uh, what, what is the bandwidth so, requirement? So uh, it will be from 1.5 megabytes yep. for the HD signal, and the HD signal will be 2.5 megabytes. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that should be manageable. That should That's be quite, manageable. quite easy yeah. to get yeah. uh, these days. It's not that much. So, yes, in two weeks, you will have uh, the choice just to do so. And with a bandwidth, at uh, minimum uh, bandwidth uh, necessity of like 1.5 megabits, that should be all right. Um, coming to the next one. Hannah would like to know, how much can I customize my app library, for instance, so that Eurosport is on the start screen? This would be something where I would, have, uh, would love to have like either Matthew Billing or this is you who should tell us how to customize I've, every Arrow Connect. Yeah. I, I could do that. I, I'm an yeah, expert You almost now. know you're an expert, yeah. I can, I can give it a try if you want. Yeah, yeah. So, so you have a special menu to do that, right? Oh, well, so I'm let's see, let's see if you Okay, let's see if I'm going to be able to manage that. Yeah. So you just uh, call up your, your uh, Viera Connect yeah. and then I should... Maneuver through two, these two pages stars. until I find the settings. Exactly, with an S. Yeah. Once I found the settings up there, oh. the setup. I, ho I hope that Matthew Billing is watching that and then he's going to be proud afterwards. <laughs> and then it says, like, right away, like, customize the home, home screen. screen. And then you go, you have the different platforms. And uh, I mean, there's Eurosport is to be found on. Uh, that you know, layer. Is it? Oh, it's up there. Yeah. I mean, it, so it makes no sense. But let's say I want to put in uh, my Twitter account also. Yeah. I mean, as you can see, Eurosport uh, is already there on the first platform. But then I pick Twitter. Yeah. And you move and up. I simply move over to the first platform, put it up there. There you go. It's done. Save configuration and changes to exit now. Yes. Uh, now I can easily get out of it. And as you can see, me going back to the first platform shows that not only Eurosport is there, but Twitter as I just were putting it there as well. Matthew, be proud of me. Congratulations. Right Bravo. Oh, okay. clap, clap. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so, Hannah, it's that easy. <laughs> Coming to the next one. Oh, may, may I give you? It's amazingly easy, room? right? Yeah, well, yeah. Even Patrice can do it. Yeah, <laughs> but, but yeah, that's that's a that's a great yeah. criteria. It's easy. Even Patrice can do it. Yeah. So if Patrice can do it, you should be able to Everybody do it can. as well. Coming to a question from uh, Mark: Does the channel show statistics and live scores in football, for example? Of course. Yes. When you have a sport, you've got uh, all the editorial uh, plus value right. of uh, our offer. With uh, statistics, uh, with interview, with consultants. Uh. So you simply got yes, yes, of course. So Mark, this has been uh, this was your uh, your answer. What else can I see on Viera Connect? You have a choice. You have a choice of apps. Um, for instance, if you like child content, you can play games, or you have educational content. What does like the games have to do with children? I mean, I don't um, play games, and well, you know, learning, I'm quite mature learning somehow. and education. Oh. You know, if you have those things I call tablets, yeah, you know, yeah. kids they love to play and they love to learn. Uh, you know how to count, how to read, and what we're developing on Vera Connect is are those applications. Mm -hmm. Is you know educational applications. Then of course you'll have the big one, which is movies. So movie on demand. We have different providers uh, dep depending on the country. Um, you of course have a sport, uh, as your sport is concerned. You also have all the social networking, so you can hook up your Facebook account, your Twitter account, right. and uh, you know, just just you know, so live watch live TV and then tweet or, or chat and, and make some comments and share it with your friends. That's also one one feature of it. Uh, this is exactly this is a great uh, this is totally great because what you can also do at the same time. That's what also uh, what yeah. Matthew uh, told me is uh, you can watch a program and at the same time. You told me that. Yeah, really. Also, the latest latest model, you have the chances to have some multitask. So I could watch, I could use oh the Eurosport God. application, watch a program, but at the same time using Twitter, and then just like exchange myself with all my followers or okay. with other people and share my opinion. You got very them. well informed, I see. Yeah, yeah. I thought we're not supposed to say it, yeah, but you okay. know what? We need okay. a new. Pre okay. We should do the same thing again, uh, Panasonic Live at IFA 2012, with a new presenter, and me being the expert. Okay. Okay. Next time, let's challenge. Are you laughing? Yeah? I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. And by the way, you can also do Skype. You can also uh, video conference uh, as, as, as long as you buy a small uh, camera on top. You can video conference with your friends. Well, there are some friends I don't want to see when they're into their sports. 
everyone has a friend that is so crazy about sport you cannot even talk about it because if you don't agree with him, he gives you that look, he's just uh, willing to kill you. So I don't want to see his face on Skype when he's like, oh my God, have you seen this? I'm going to kill this referee. I'm going <laughs> to kill that referee. But hey, again, I have a, a red light on this one here. So I take the old school piece of uh, paper. Um, was it down? Actually, down? no. There's one which is what? How big is your living room? How big is my living room? <laughs> it's it's, it's <laughs> big enough for, that 140, for, that, for these 145. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, so here we go with another one. Um, just pushing next and hope that the next question gonna, is going to come up. At least I have a green light. But I do have no... Oh, yes, I do. Eric Rugg would like to know, do I need specific accessories for specific content or services like Eurosport on VR Connect? For Eurosport, I think no. Nothing special as far as uh, the no. service is concerned, no. Um, you do need a camera if you want to uh, Skype. You do right. need a keyboard if you want to chat or tweet. Uh, well, you could, you could also write a tweet with the remote, but it's going to be far, not, yeah. not as uh, comfortable as having a yeah, keyboard. Yeah, therefore we also have apps, so on tablets right. or on mobile phones. So we have uh, on, on dual system iOS and Android. You can just use it as a keyboard or as to remote control the TV. Um, very flexible. But wait a minute. Um, you can also add a running mill if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, to your TV, right? Wouldn't there be something, like a running mill, just like participate like on a marathon? Maybe you should, you could work something out. On Eurosport, you watch the marathon in Eurosport and you just like run with them at the same time. I, th I think we should, we should demonstrate that next time, yeah? I mean, it's a good idea, yeah? Yeah, yeah. but that's something <laughs> yeah. that the future presenters are going to do and not the expert, <laughs> will, okay. which I will be then, all right? Okay, that is correct. <laughs> Oh my God, I think I'm going to become an expert. I'm going to run next yeah. year. I, I see, see that coming. You need to run 40 minutes, <laughs> can you imagine? No, so no. So when it comes to Eurosport, you don't need a specific accessory, but of course, like for anything else, uh, several products are offered. Uh, once again, Matthew Billing is going to be very proud of me that I memorized this fact. Thank you for that. Um, coming to the next question, it's still green. That's a, that looks, it looks good, looks good, looks great. And here it is, Mark. Mark would like to know, can you show me how to display the statistics? Thanks. Nice show, Nice show, by the way. Thank you for this. Uh, yeah, it's up to you. Would you mind us showing us like, some extra information on your program? So have you got... Up. Are we already you watching? You like, your, when you your watch your too? program, you can watch the, um, the scheduling. Right. And you can navigate to see what, what's coming next. And if you press here... The TV program, no, it's here. Up. You've got the two channels, and yeah. then you can navigate in the scheduling. And uh, so, for example, the, the Vuelta is uh, broadcasted live from, uh, from 3 o'clock. So I, I can get prepared to that. And the US Open starts on Eurosport 2 at uh, 5 o'clock. Okay, and when it comes to like statistics, all of that, w would I also be able just to find those? So do, you, do, do you have statistics and maybe no one? No, 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 no. I don't think so. Don't have it. Yeah, not yet, yeah. But you have, that's the thing, but you have live uh, sport news right. on the other application. If you, have, if you have editorial content, you have, we will have the sport news and okay. the free application. Right. Okay. Not yet. Not Th yet. There you go, Mark. Um, uh, coming to the final question of this segment. By the way, I'm still very excited because after this, the next segment is going to be an interview with your boss. Oh, my God. The president of Panasonic And if you want some statistics, you can go to yourspopular.com uh, via, via, also via Viracast and the web brother. Oh, true. You could do that, but only with the top-notch uh, TV sets that nice offer sense. the dual-core processor. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, as you can tell, it's the final day, and I pretty much know everything now. Uh, the last question would be, what hardware setup do I need for Viera and Eurosport? What app and which setup do you need for... Which rockets? No, no, nothing. No, it disappeared. No, which hardware it setup? All right, just disappeared. Which hardware setup? Well, you, you just need to buy, basically, you need to have a TV from last year, or uh, you, have to, you have to need uh, to buy a 2012 model. Yeah? 2011, 2012, mm. uh, we're backwards compatible. Um, it has to be. Uh, it has to. to it has to, to be implemented with Vera Connect. This so already. This is already the last one. Yeah. Um, nothing special. Otherwise. Okay. Yeah. Just once you get the television uh, set, you should TV, be fine. Last year's works as well. But here's another one. The last one. Uh, what I just got in. Uh, just to repeat. How many languages uh, do you uh, offer there? On your um, broadcast? Actu currently eight. Uh, Benji Future more. 
in the future more? Yeah, well, You're going to invent more languages? No, just <laughs> yeah, Eurosport is broadcast in 20 languages. Right. But uh, currently, you have yeah, eight languages available, but we will develop that in the future. Okay. Then uh, thank you so much for, for that intel, Alexandre, Fabien. Right. Uh, merci welcome. beaucoup. I would like to say at You're this, welcome. At this moment. Yeah. And here we go. It's, uh, yeah, there is a VT50 uh, that's actually going to be given away. Unfor oh. This is not my wow. name. My name is misspelled. Wow. Because we wanted to know, uh, the question was, Panasonic Smart Vieira TVs now support swipe and share uh, functionality. What does this feature let you do? I mean, that would have been easy. I could easily have said that, of course, you can, street, uh, you can stream smartphone content to a TV. I would have known that. You knew I that. deserve that you TV. Yeah. I knew it, but do, no. Do you know also tablets? You can, you can stream from tablets? You didn't as know that? Well. Yes, of course. Oh. You can do that either from tablet PC, okay. from your smartphone. Uh, it doesn't necessarily it has to be only iOS. It also yeah. works with Android. Android. Yeah. Good. It's that easy. But anyway, it's not my name. The name is uh, Andre Zeiss. Uh, he's also in Germany. So enjoy your 15-inch VT50 Smart Vieira Plasma TV. You will deserve it. And oh, I envy you <laughs> a bit. So as I said, this is the end of this uh, segment. We will be back at uh, 2.45 when I will have the interview with the president of uh, Panasonic Corporation, Kazuhiro Tsuga-san. I'm looking forward to for that. Merci beaucoup once again. And uh, thanks to you, Patrice Pudibela, for Panasonic Live at IFA 2012.